So to start with, let's have a look at the CSS, the cascading style sheets um, that we've got that makes our advent calendar work in the way that it does. Um, so we've got one class for door. I'll zoom in a little bit. I know it's a class because it's got a full stop in front of it and it's being used um, for all of the advent calendar doors. At the moment there's only one of them, so it's a div um, and here's the class bit, and the class name is door and this is the rule that makes all of these advent calendar doors look like this. So there's a little bit that says the height and the width um, there's a bit that explains how wide and well, what the borders look like how the text looks like inside the box and the um, background colour of the boxes. The opacity means how see-through it is, so 0.5 is half see-through. Then we've got a compound class here, so it's the same class name door, and then we've got the colon hover afterwards, so this is how this door is going to look when you move your mouse over the top of it. And we've got the background colour as red, full on red, no green, no blue. Um, and this is the colour of, uh, of the text, notice the American spelling. We've just got one other style rule on here, um, so notice there's no hash and there's no full stop in here, that means that this applies to a, a HTML tag. A uh, HTML tag is body, um, and we're just setting the background image and the text colour. Okay, We've just got a little bit of HTML on here, we've got a title at the top, a heading 1, we've got one div for the whole of the calendar, and all of the doors are going to be inside that div. Um, so you can't actually see this one, um, it'll be around everything else, but you're going to have to make um, 25 different divs in here. So most people will probably start by trying to copy and paste um, this div and make 25 of them, which is fine, um, but you'll end up with loads of lines of code well, lines of HTML, and it's not particularly efficient, um, but it's certainly enough to get you started for now. Um, so I've got five different divs, all of them have got a class of door, so now there should be five different um, doors on here. JavaScript telling us what's going to happen, um, but you can begin to see how you can add lots and lots of doors to your advent calendar.